hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel please make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notification on so today is about how to draft your tube top with this simplest formula which have helped me a lot in my bustier game this formula is for all bust type and size so look at the right side of your screen you will see the formula written down there so let's start with the basic measurement so guys with what i have here my full length for the front side is 19 shoulder to chest is 7 shoulder to bust is 10 shoulder to under bust 14 front shoulder is 14 Run chest 35, run bust 36, run under bust is 31. While my back length is 17, my run back is 13. So you will notice that normally the front panel length is long, it's supposed to be longer than the back panel length. The reason is because we have bust, our bust at the front panel, why there is nothing like bust at the back. So what you have to do is to know the difference between your front length and your back length and as far as my full length is 19 here and my back length is 17 so 19 minus 17 the difference between my front and my back is 19 minus 17 which is 2 inches so and also i have to add this thing here know that your front panel is supposed to be wider than your your back panel if we are adding like two inches on both sides, please for the front panel add three inches, add extra one inch, making it to be three inches. Then subtract half inch to so that two inches you are adding to the back to make it 1.5 inches. Depending on how you take your measurements. So let's get started, guys. You guys know that I love measuring my starting points. So my shoulder to my chest line is 7. So I'm going to start with my chest line measurements. So you see where I placed it, minus 7. Where my, why my full length is 19. So I'm going to get minus 7, always be conscious about that, to 19. So I'm going to connect the lines. So now I have my full length. What next do I have to do? I have to get my bust point. So minus 7. So my boss point is 10. So I'm going to mark 10 here. While my under bust is 14. So I'm going to mark 14 here. So 7, that's the chest line. Then the bust, under bust is 14. So I'm going to connect my line. So remember this is the front panel, this is the starting point, the first line, then uh, the under bust, then the full length. So I'm going to, for the back, the starting point, somewhere like this, so I'm going to connect this line. I'm going to extend this starting point line. So from here is 3. So I'm going to mark 3. So from here to here is uh, 7. So I'm going to mark 7. The full length for the back is 17. 17 minus 7 will give us 10. Remove that um, 7 and measure our our 17. So 
So the next thing for us to do now, remember normal, the standard bust to bust measurement is uh, 4 inches. But I'm going to add extra 1 inch to it to make it 5. So I'm marking out 5 inches. So from here, remember that I said the formula is how to get your bust curve is your bust, your round bust minus your round under bust, which is mine is 36 minus 31, give me 5, 5 divided by 2, give me 2.5. So from my bust, from my bust line, I'm going to go down by 1 inch. And also go up by one inch. So from my under bust, I'm going to minus that's a 2.5. I'm going to minus 1.5 from my seam allowance side. I'm minus one inch from my but no, remember that you're going to put your seam allowance. So I'm going to minus half inch, including my seam allowance. So I'm going to repeat the same, half inch, then 1.5. So here I'm going to minus 1 inch instead of 1.5. I'm going to connect. If you are connecting, you connect from here to your 1 inch. Then you start from your 1 inch down and connect to your under bust. Then from here you connect down. Why I did this is because your your front panel will not have any shortage. So I'm not going to subtract anything from here. I'm not going to subtract anything from here. Or if you want to subtract, you subtract zero point two five just a little bit here. So I'm going to take my my rule. Remember that I my nose have one inch here, so I'm going to add my half inch for my seam allowance. So from here, I'm going to draw my curve. So when drawing your curve, don't make it to be too obvious. Don't make it to be too obvious. So here now becomes my first curve. So since we are true with this, since we are true with this, remember that when so you don't have to add seam allowance at the folding side anymore. All you have to do is to add seam allowance at the <coughs> at this side. So let's get the the circumference of this of the length. So my show my chest line is uh, thirty four divided by four will give me eight point seven five. So here we have uh, four point seven five. Then I'm going to place my four point seven five here to get my eight point seven five, which is somewhere here, plus my three inches, which will give me eleven point seven five here. So, 
the post line divided by 4 will give me 9. So know that there is not there is no space here, so we didn't subtract anything from there. So here is 9 plus our 3 inches for the front, which will give us 12. So for the under bust, that's 1 divided by 4 will give me 7.75. So here we have uh, 4 and half. So I'm going to place my tape 4 and half to get my 10.75. So here my waistline is uh, 30. 30 divided by 4 will give me 7.5. So here I have 4.5. Four point five, seven point five plus three inches, which is here. So what do I have to do? I have to use the largest length. I have to use the largest length to cut. So I'm not going to start drawing zigzag. So I'm going to use the largest to mark out. So here, this is what we have as the first curve. So from here, you can as well, you know, do your designs or whatever you want to do. If you want it to be a deep, a deep leg or whatever, you can as well do it. So you can as well use your curve rule to make any design like something like this. You know just to be creative with your work make something extra make something extraordinary make something that is not basic you understand so you can use your curve rule to achieve to achieve it it's not something that is uh, that is not achievable so remember when you make this such design Remember to always put your seam allowance. So if something like this, always put your seam allowance of half inch to it. Or when you when you want to cut out, always remember to put your half inch to it. So from this, this is where our our back, our front stops. So let me get the largest body circumference here. I have a uh, 12 inches, and 12 inches is the is the boss point. So here I will measure 12 inches. Here plus, uh, let me just add uh, 12 inches plus one and a half inch. So I'm going to mark out here. Then use one inch as the zip allowance. So here now becomes the zip and this side becomes the zip allowance. Right here becomes the side sewing allowance. So for the chest line, the chest line is uh, okay. Remember that your bust to bust is four. We did we did five this side. So we are going to make it to be four and a half. Including the seam allowance. So minus seven. Remember that your back, your back that's supposed to start at nine. So I'm going to mark nine inches here. So and continue with our four and a half. So here is where our back that starts. So from here I'm going to subtract. Half inch here, half inch here, which is the normal that that measurement. So here now is our normal back that measurement. So from here is where I will start getting my measurement. So my chest line is the total is uh, 
8.75 not the same allowance 8.75 which is somewhere here so i'm going to instead of me to add three inches i will add one and a half inches which is here so for my bust line is nine so here is a uh, 4.25 nine inches plus my one and a half inches <coughs> which is here then my under bust or the full length 30 that's 7.5 here is four plus my one and a half inches for my seam allowance then my under bust is uh 7.75 okay here is four 7.75 plus my one and a half inch which is here also so you will notice that here is the largest body measurement that we have so i'm going to also mark the full length here so here is now our back and here is now our front so if you want your front to have a deep back at the center you can minus remember you already minus seven inches from me so you can minus like one inch or one and a half so you're going to minus one and a half inch from me then use our curve rule from here or from here to make a deep curve remember to add your seam allowance of half inch here uh, when cutting it with, when cutting it on your fabric you add your seam allowance so from here the difference between the front and the back the front and the back is two inches so you will notice that when you want to sew it on your fabric the front will be longer than the back how do you do it From here, divide here into two, which is six and a half. You divide here into two, then. So guys, um, like I said, you divide your your front panel into two, the full length into two, then you use it and curl this to make sure that it's of, it's of the same length with your back panel. Remember to add your seam allowance of half inch. Either you add it, either you add it at your on your fabric, or you can as well add it on your pattern. Remember to label this one is one, this one is two, here is three, and here is four. I always label my hand, my panel or my pattern before cutting. So this is what we have so this is what we have we have come to the end of this tutorial so thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for staying cute